Okay, so finally in this um, video, I'm just going to now make some changes up here. I want to tidy this up a little bit more. I want to reduce this uh, top section up here. Um, and I want to just reduce the size, the the margin width between um, between the, the, the header here and the edge of the box. So we'll go back into the fire, fire bug here and I'll just find out what section that is again so what I would be looking at editing here is in fact this particular section here which is the body um, part of the site and in order to find that I need to go to um, line 1593 so if I pop over to here and 1593 is this section here so we've got the padding and you'll notice there's two there's two um, lots of values here because this is a retina ready theme um, I don't want this to be a CSS fed, um, tutorial but in the latest CSS 3 specifications there's a there's a measurement called REM and what that does is it basically offers a measurement that's more specific especially for I'll use mobile devices and mobile screens and retina displays um, so for example if I want to find out there's a cool little unit converter here which I'll put the link at the bottom of this of this article for you but um, I suggest you still go and read up on what the CSS is about and get some understanding about what this is if you're going to go in and start changing a lot of these settings but if I want to find out what the REM is in pixels I would put that in here and it would give me a 10, 10 pixel um, rating that's given that the base size is 14 and I'm working with um, 96 DPI which is what you would be working with if you're looking at a retina I believe I'm getting a bit techy here but I'm just wanting to explain to you what that why that is appearing in 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 this style sheet so you could get away by removing that altogether and just have the 40 the 40 pixels for the padding but then when this is opened up in a, a say a, an iPad for example or on a retina ready um, screen in a MacBook Pro or something like that then what you'll find is this that's when this particular measurement will be far more accurate um, it's a little more detailed than that and a little and you can go into it a lot more but that's basically why we're seeing these two lots of measurements here these two specifications for the same thing so margin top you got 48 pixels there and then I've also got an REM value here so if I was to go back to my calculator and um, let's do it the other way around um, and uh, 48 pixels I should get 3.4.3 Three, but they're using a larger decimal range here so I'm sorry if this is a bit confusing but I just want to show you for thoroughness notice here they're using a one two three four five six seven eight nine decimal places so if I was to go back to that calculator and put in nine I think you'll find that this figure here is pretty much close to that figure 1429 let's have a look yeah it is exact okay so that's how you can work that out so if you're doing something for mobile devices and you want it to be retina ready and things like that you'd want to put in the alternative measurement um, to be far more accurate there so that's what this this line essentially is doing all right that's that explained all right so let me get back to what I was doing um, what I want to do is reduce this this space here so I'm going to have a go at doing that 
by uh, finding the right section here. I think, is that the one? No. See how that, that's actually reducing the top, which I do want to do that as well, um, because I want my page up the very top there, because I want it close to the fold. Um, I don't want to waste too much space at the top there. So I would be reducing the top margin by that much for the whole site. Um, so that's point, I'll just copy that top margin. And if I pop that in here, And if I go back to my calculator and do an REM to pixel conversion, drop B and just do two, it's basically zero pixels. Okay, so what I would do then is go into here. And I would change that to a zero pixel. Okay, now what I'm going to do is save this just to so you can see what happens. And I'm going to go back to the site. I am going to minimize this and I'm going to refresh it. Now, by rights, that should stay the same, which it, do which it does. So you see there that I've got. Basically, no gap, just a tiny little minute gap there at the top. Again, I can take that up further if I wish. Um, but I want to also reduce this white space here, okay? Because I want my um, my space above the fold, which is above the bottom line here. I want this area to have more space for my content. So the way I would do that is I'm going to open up Firebug again. I'm going to select my selector tool and I'm going into here. Let me have a look at what options I have. Um, header. Where is it? Let's find the right piece section here. And if I look at top, what's that going to do for me? No, that's where I already was. Um, that's the side padding. So I do want to actually edit that, but I want to fix this space up here first. Um, and I'm pretty sure it was. Let me just check again. Let me just refresh this. Um, that's the one. So I want to go to line line five hundred and seventy three, which is dot header image, and. That's right up the top here. Five hundred and seventy-three. So here I am here. Header image. And I want to I want to reduce this this space here. So if we go back again, and I want it to be um, I want it to be around that particular point there. Which according to this is negative, copy that, negative 2.8, negative 1.286 REM. So I'll go into here and I will paste this measurement in here. 
And if I go back to my calculator, and if I put in, oh, six pixels. Sorry for that last one. I'll have to fix that up because um, I left the REM in there, didn't I? And see here, it's given me negative 18 pixels. So if I pop back into here. Go negative eighteen and go file save. Let's see what happens here. Okay, so you'll find that it stayed the same, it hasn't adjusted. And if I go back into here, you'll see that it's still saying that there negative two point. Uh, negative 1.26886 so that's the space I want there now the next piece I want to do is just bring this in just a little bit uh, so I'm going to go back to the padding um, I'm pretty sure this was the one that I was trying to edit here let's have a look excuse me for that and there we go so I want to reduce that to that there so I want that padding to be one I'll just copy that 1.857 and that's on line 1593 so I'll go back over there on line 1593 here we go. Bang, ding, 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 ding. Padding. All right, so I want to change that to one eight one point eight five seven, and to get the pixel amount, I'll go over to my calculator again, and I'll put in that that figure there. Take out the REM. It's going to give me a pixel amount of 26 pixels. So I'll also add that there. So this would now become 26 pixels. So I'm going to go and save that file now. And I'll pop back over to my site. I'll minimize this here and I'll just do a quick refresh and there we have it so what you'll find now I've just reduced that ever so much um, I've just brought that in by the narrowest of margins and also there I might want to reduce that a little bit more but you can see what you can do here and this is how you can do it okay so I just really wanted to show you that so you've got a little bit more control um, over your um, over your theme editing, so you don't have to well rely on a developer. You can go in and do this yourself. So I'll just go back down to here, and if I want that to be a little bit less, let's just say I just start playing around with the pixels here. And I want that to be 19 pixels negative, and I save that. Um, and I just refresh it here. Not a big deal has changed. It's such a minute amount, we're not seeing it. Um, a little bit too much there. So what I want to do is now start editing it in pixel size. So what I've got is a measurement here currently of 19 pixels. I'm going to change that to 25 and see what happens. I might not do anything because I've got the REM still there. Let's see if that overrides it. No, so the REM is the dominant one here. So what I need to do is try this out. 
there we go so if I type in negative 25 pixels there that's going to give me an indication that that's just a little bit too much so I'll go uh, negative 22 no if I go just down a bit and see I'm using the up and down key here again just moving it up and I'm do, all I'm doing is pressing the up and down arrow and the figures are, re, are doing it auto, automatically reducing or increasing um, and I can just work out if I've got it roughly where I want it to be so if I'm happy with that I'll leave that there I'm talking negative 19 pixels so if I want to find the correct REM amount for that I'll go here I'll go pixels to REM I want nine decimal places I'm going to go to what was it 19 negative 19 let me just go back to that file here so I've got one two three sorry three decimals three decimals there um, and I'm doing negative 19 pixels is that correct if I'm, my memory serves me well yeah so negative 19 pixels negative 19 pixels to REM should be negative 1357 so I'll copy that and I'll pop that in here and we'll change that to 19 if I save that now which I just did uh, command s or control s if you're on a Mac go back over to here and I'll just refresh this to check that that style sheet is updated correctly and there you have it so I've just refreshed that page now the header is where I want it to be I've got my navigation bar where I want it to be and I'm pretty happy with that right now so I'm gonna leave this video here in I'm gonna in the next issue I'm gonna do some further um, videos on just how I'm gonna be editing the footer here and um, some background colors and I'm gonna look at including some background images and uh, how I go ahead and change the font style as well and uh, and the look the font for these um, these side um, sidebars as well so um, I'll put that together for the next issue but um, hopefully you find this one useful it gives you uh, an introduction as to how to go ahead and change this with the, this awesome plugin called firebug which is um, for Firefox and also a nice little CSS unit calculator called converter here and I'll leave that link there for you so you can go and check that out and also a link to w3schools.com CSS a great uh, a great um, resource for getting up to date on some of the some of the current CSS standards okay so I'll leave it there guys thank you once again please leave some comments in the comment page um, about this if you like any feedback is appreciated and I'll follow up on that for you. Okay, signing out. Talk to you soon.